Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your trainer for this Microsoft 365 Certified Security Administrator Associate course. In this video, we're going to learn about threat investigation and response. After the lesson, you would be able to describe how threat intelligence in Microsoft 365 is powered by the Microsoft Graph, describe how the threat dashboard can benefit C-level security officers and describe how Threat Explorer can be used to investigate threats and help to protect your tenant and explain how and why Attack Simulator can be used to uncover weaknesses in your organization. So what is Threat Explorer? Threat Explorer provides a color-coded chart that represents attacks that are targeted at your organization. This pane has a tabbed view of top malware families, an email list, and a map of email origins. It also displays the top targeted users in your organization. If your organization has Office 365 Advanced Threat Protection and you have necessary permissions, you have either Explorer or Real-Time Detections. So let me show you where you can find that. Even though my portal doesn't have any of this information, this is a screenshot to show you how it looks like if you, if you have the adequate permission and if you have the right licenses and if you have the right data. So if you go to Security and Compliance Center, under Threat Management, you can click on Explorer. With Explorer, with Explorer, you have a powerful report that enables your security operations team to investigate and respond to threats effectively and efficiently. And this is a sample report which shows how it is going to look like. With this report, you can see malware detected by Office 365 security features, view data about phishing URLs and click word it, start an automated investigation and response process from a view in Explorer, which requires ATP Plan 2. And finally, you can investigate malicious email and more. Let's talk about threat trackers. First, let me show you where you can find threat tracker. So within the Office 365 Security and Compliance Portal, under Threat Management, right at the bottom, you would be able to find the Threat Tracker. As you can see, I don't have any data in it. But if you have any data, this is going to look like this. Threat Trackers are informative widgets and views that provide you with intelligence on different cybersecurity issues that might impact your company. Most tracker pages include trending numbers that are updated periodically. Widgets to help you understand which issues are the biggest or have grown the most. And a quick link in the actions column that takes you to the explorer where you can view more detailed information. Available threat trackers include noteworthy trackers, trending trackers, tracked queries and saved queries. So let me explain what is noteworthy trackers. Noteworthy trackers are where you will find big and small threats and risk that we think you should know about. And noteworthy trackers help you find whether these issues exist in your Office 365 environment and how they will impact your organization's use of Office 365. What are trending trackers? Trending trackers highlight new threats that haven't been seen in your organization email in the past week. Trending trackers give you an idea of new threats you should review to ensure your broader corporate environment is prepared against attacks. Let's look at tracked queries. Tracked queries leverage your saved queries to periodically assess Office 365 activity in your organization. Tracked queries run automatically, giving you up-to-date information without having to remember to rerun your queries. And the last one is saved queries. Safe queries are also found in the tracker section. You can use safe queries to store, store the common explorer searches that you want to get back to quicker and repeatedly without having to recreate the search every time. You can always save a noteworthy tracker query or any of your own explorer queries using the save query button at the top of the explorer page. Let's understand what is automated investigation and response, which is known as AIR or AIR. Automated investigation and response capabilities enable you to run automated investigation processes in response to well-known threats that exist today. Automated investigation response 
can help your security operations team operate more efficiently and effectively. AIR is included in Microsoft 365 E5, E5 Security, Office 365 E5, and Office 365 ATP Plan 2. Now let's understand what is Attack Simulator. So first let me show you where you can find the Attack Simulator. Under Threat Management, you can go to Attack Simulator. This is where you would be able to enable the Attack Simulator. Attack Simulator is included in Office 365 Threat Intelligence. If you are a member of your organization's security team, you can run realistic attack scenarios in your organization. This can help you identify and find vulnerable users before a real attack impacts your bottom line. So with Attack Simulator, there are simulated attacks. You can do sphere phishing, which is a credential harvest, sphere phishing attachments, password spray attack, brute force password, and password spray attacks. So let's understand these one by one. So what is sphere attack, which is known as credential harvest as well? This attack is focused on sphere phishing, a more targeted attack that is aimed at a specific group of individuals or an organization. What is sphere phishing, which is targeted towards attachment? This is another form of sphere phishing simulation focused on exploiting an attachment to an email. And what is password spray attack? A password spray attack against an organization is typically used after a bad actor has successfully emulated a list of valid users from the tenant, utilizing their knowledge of common passwords used. It is utilized widely as it is a cheap attack to run and harder to detect than a brute force approaches. The last one is brute force password or directory attack. A brute force password attack against an organization is typically used after a bad actor has successfully emulated a list of key users from the tenant. This attack focuses on letting you specify a set of passwords against a single user. So now let's understand Microsoft Graph Security API. You can use Microsoft Graph Security API to connect Microsoft security protocols, services, and partners to streamline security operations and improve threat prediction, detection, and response capabilities. The Microsoft Graph Security API is an intermediary service or broker that provides a single programmatic interface to connect multiple Microsoft Graph Security providers. Requests to the Microsoft Graph Security API are federated to all applicable security providers. The results are aggregated and returned to the requesting application in a common schema as shown in this example diagram. So why would you use the Microsoft Graph Security API? The Graph Security API makes it easy to connect with security solutions from Microsoft and partners. It allows you to more readily it allows you to more readily realize and enrich the values of these solutions. You can connect easily with the Microsoft Graph Security API by using one of the following approaches. You can use it to write code, connect using script, drag and drop into workflows and playbooks, and get data into reports and dashboard. All right, so that concludes the lesson on threat intelligence threat investigation and reports. In the next video, we're going to learn about Azure Sentinel. So I will see you on the next one. Till then, take care.